Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this update's video on the tropics. And so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at our systems. We have Hurricane Pamela as well as two disturbances over in the Atlantic Basin to talk about. And we're also going to be taking a look at what GFS is forecasting for the latter part of this month. Something very interesting. And so before I go into details with these systems... <music> All right, so let us start off with Hurricane Pamela. So Pamela has now intensified into a Category 1 hurricane and is en route to Mexico. And so, in español, Pamela se ha convertido en un huracán y actualmente es de Categoría 1. Es probable que se fortalezca más y se han implementado alertas y advertencias. Se espera que la parte centro-oeste de México desde Valle Tempejuaya y hasta Esquinapa experimente lo peor de Pamela. Es probable que haya fuertes lluvias, mareadas ciclónicas y fuertes vientos en esas áreas y áreas circundantes a partir de esta noche. Por lo tanto, asegúrese de mantenerse a salvo si se verá afectado. All right, so yes, we do have a tropical storm warning which is highlighted in blue that is currently in effect for north of Bahia, Tempehuaya to Altata and also for south of Esquinapa to Cabo Corrientes and for Islas Marias. And we have a hurricane warning that is highlighted in red that is in effect for Bahia, Tempehuaya to Esquinapa. So those areas will likely experience the worst of Pamela as it is going to be accelerating inland uh, by very early tomorrow morning. And then we have a tropical storm watch that you're seeing which is highlighted in yellow in effect for Los Barrieres to Cabo San Lucas. So those areas will likely experience tropical storm-like conditions within about 24 hours or so. And so looking at the satellite presentation of Pamela, we're seeing here that it is certainly not the best. Uh, it was being shared, which aided in the pause of its intensification because if conditions were highly conducive and nothing was really interfering with the hurricane, then we would have had it being much stronger. But now it is just a Category 1 uh, weak hurricane right now. And that is some good news for Mexico because it was anticipated that we would have this strengthened into a very significant hurricane. At one point, the maximum sustained winds were expected to be 120 miles per hour and that is a significant Category 3. And now, fortunately, we're not not seen where a major hurricane is anticipated so that is some really good news in terms of Pamela and so we're going to be having our hurricane hunters flying into this hurricane and investigating this system uh, later today so we're going to be getting all that better data for the structure and the intensity of Pamela but as of right now if you're in that warning area please take the sort of precautions stay safe time is running out uh, please don't be near the coastline and stay away from areas that are easily inundated whenever it rains heavily. All right, so now let's go ahead and hop over into the Atlantic Basin. So here we have our two disturbances, uh, Invest 93L as well as that other disturbance. So let us go on to 93L first. So we're seeing here that there is a 0% chance that we will have development of a tropical cyclone. And the reason for that is because of the hostile environmental conditions that are in the vicinity of the disturbance. So even though tropical development isn't anticipated of 93L, L, it is still likely to produce some heavy rainfall and gusty winds across portions of the central and northern Lesser Antilles as they're going to be progressing into uh, the rest of today. So if you're there, please be mindful of that. But again, nothing major is anticipated from this because, of course, development isn't likely anymore with this. And so going on to our next disturbance here. So this one is located over Haiti. And so we're seeing here that the formation chance is at 10%. So imminent development isn't a very likely with this but once it makes its way into that shaded yellow region uh then it is likely that we could have a bit of development taking place but if there's going to be any it is going to be very slow to happen because conditions aren't the very best right now and as i speak about that let us take a look at that main inhibiting factor which is the wind shear so we have the different colors that indicate the favorability of the shear we have the green that means favorable the yellow that means neutral and the red that means unfavorable so we can clearly see on this map that we have mainly unfavorable shear that is across most of the Caribbean as well as portions of the Gulf and in the main development region. So definitely in the vicinity of 93L and that other disturbance, uh, we don't have any favorable shear at this time. And so on the satellite view of our systems, let's take a look at 93L first. Here we have it 
uh, we do have all that moisture to the east of the lesser entities that's going to be making its way westward and that is what is going to be induced in the inclement weather which is likely later today and in terms of our other disturbance located over Haiti here we have it quite a bit of moisture in the portions of the Turks and Caicos Islands Hispaniola uh, so those areas could experience some inclement weather as a result of this as well as time goes by and so guys now let us go ahead and take a look at what the GFS model is forecasting for the rest of the month so let's take a look at this map here and this is a map showing the isobars and the isobars are the black lines they're lines of equal pressure and so when you see them being in a circular manner with the pressure below 10 13 millibars that is a low pressure system and can be or tropical cyclones and so this is by tuesday the 26th of october so two weeks out we're seeing here that gfs is showing that something is going to be developing in the caribbean so this is a 999 millibar low pressure system that is located uh to the south of the dominican republic right there and so as we head further out to wednesday the 27th of the month we have gfs showing a 983 millibar low pressure system and so when you have a decrease in pressure that indicates intensification so we're also seeing that the isobars are becoming tightly packed and that is also a sign of intensification so when you see the isobars becoming so close that indicates a very steep gradient and also a strengthening or significant system and so as we head to Thursday, the 28th of October, we see here that we have a 992 millibar low pressure system. So likely uh, the mountainous terrain of the Dominican Republic weakened the system a bit. So once we have that uh, increase in that minimum central pressure, that indicates that we're having some weakening. So lower pressure indicates intensification, high pressure indicates weakening of the system. And so the model doesn't go further out from there, but this is just kind of taking me back to last year with Hurricane A which develops in the Caribbean but it didn't make its way up to the north it accelerated westward and headed to Central America and so guys this does not have to be the outcome this is only a prediction that is there from the model so it's important to note that and of course I'm going to be keeping you updated on all the latest with the tropics as time goes by and so guys that is really it for this update video so again we have our two disturbances uh the formation chance is non-existent for 93l but heavy rainfall is likely to be induced across portions of the lesser antilles and in terms of that other disturbance over over portions of hispaniola that is currently producing a lot of moisture in that region so it is likely for uh, quite a bit of rainfall there and we also have hurricane pamela which is going to be making landfall more than likely tomorrow morning and so guys if you found this video to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best as soon as i can and just remember to always be weatherwise.